Hi, Wilhelm fam. Welcome back to Cooch Corner. So today's one is the 22nd of March. Yay. Although if you're watching it after that. I've done. Please not again. No. <laughs> yeah. Which, of going... course, if you're watching it afterwards, it isn't. <laughs> This is Kutch for the 22nd of March. How about that then? Right, so let's head straight into Word to the Wise. Yeah. Yes, I nearly did say Words of the Week. Yeah. <laughs> so, Word to the Wise. It is. Colourful. Hmm? If you mouth it, it yeah. looks like you're saying, I love you. So. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I think I'd heard that I've before. Seen them on a TV program. Yeah. They were. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Now, how many of you are actually trying that right now? Eh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, 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 hey. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. Sherlock, from Ooh. last week, and I, I, I even kept my workings out. I did. Sherlock from last week. All right. We go onto that briefly. Here we go. The type it was. I'll say that briefly. It was uh, Brendan's go somewhat fixated on a batch of calendars that have been commissioned to him. They were a style of one month to a page and had to be printed at a very specific and expensively worn eight typeface. Because of this, the man was keen to minimise the number of movable type letters he had to purchase. He was quite proud of himself for having found the thriftiest solution that would allow him to print the names of the months in full. Using all capital letters was part of it, of course, but the main portion involved ensuring that he had just enough individual letters to assemble any given month. Can you work out how many letters he had to purchase? Right, so what I did was I got a piece of paper, this piece of paper, and I wrote down January first of all. Then when I wrote down February, I removed any letters that was already in January. And I did the same thing for March, April, so on. Yeah. So the only letters I had for each month were one of. However, it's not as, quite as straightforward as that. Because in some months, you need like three E's. Yes. Or two A's or two zeros or two R's. If you see what I mean. And two O's. And two O's. Yeah, not, not zeros. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> right. So, basically, there were 16 letters and 11 that were a duplicate. So, that came to 27. Hmm. And Darren was actually, was, he yeah. works it out 27, a way. 27 in order to be able to turn them into a month. You need the following 27 letters. And it says what it is down here. I... Right. Yeah, you said you did it in a more complex way. Yeah, you? I did a different one. I wrote down uh, January to February, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, blah, 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 all, all the months down. Started off with A and see how many A's I needed in each of them. I had in each of them. And then wrote down how many A's was the most I had. Then did the same with B's, C's, D's, blah, blah, blah. We got like two A's, one B, one C, one D, three E's, one F, G, H, I, J, L, M, N, two O's, P, two R's, S, T, two U's, a V, and a Y. It comes to 27 letters. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, December has three E's in it. That's right. So does September. So that's, yeah. But that shows you what we mean by... Yeah. That. So did anybody guess right? No. Did anybody guess? Yes. Oh. We've got... Did uh, she gave it a go? Uh, Dreamer's Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Sure, look, my guess is 19 letters, because you don't need the letters. G, G, K. Oh. They, they, they did it as individual letters, because you would need all the letters out on the typeface at the same time. That's right, yeah. Print it. No, I, I almost did that, and then sort of, mm. hang on a minute, sort of thing. Uh, Pink Poodle. Mm -hmm. uh, can't believe I got the Sherlock right again. 
the show look is very hard this week. I worked out to count the numbers of the same letters in the month. I did not include the start of each month as he already included in the past. No. Here's my answer, all lowercase. It said it said in the thing they're all uppercase. Yeah, it does. Yeah. They've got five A's blah blah. blah. Yeah, it comes to yeah, it's good. Uh, oh, so she she counted the capitals. She counted, this... she counted all the, the separate yeah. ones, yeah. But one of these three letters one of these one of these letters I need to be purchased one of the recurring months. It took me ages to work out the answer. Uh, count numbers and letters funnily enough yeah. that was another thing i did was i said to darren because obviously you know along the lines of thinking like that it is different and yes. i said to darren i said is this all like lower yeah or upper it did. It did and lower thing. It was upper count. and said, that's what darren said to me he said he said he wanted so, bits to make it easier it was all made them all yeah case. so again that was something i I had to check back on because I didn't remember, so I just yeah checked back good, on that. Good guesses. It's not bad at all. And also, as I said, both of them mm. did it yeah. the ways I'd... Yeah. Pink you know... Boom, Pink Boomer didn't get this one. As mate life said, don't be sad. Two out of three ain't bad. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. should... She also said it was very hard this week. You want to look some of these some of these questions in these books, <laughs> these Sherlock books. It's like, I think the thing you is, go, you go through them, you, you look at them, and you go, "Why?" Yeah, but then oh, look, yeah, say like, one day you might look at something and think, "I yeah. do not, I just cannot get my head around that." Yeah. And yet the next day you'll look at it and you'll think. What was I thinking? That's simple. Right, some of these were it's, insanely difficult. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> But yeah, it's um, so it's taking part that's the fun bit, anyway. That's right, yeah. Right. So, yeah. did any of you guys get it right that didn't write in, as it were? <laughs> so I'm just curious. Don't, don't, don't just say yes. <laughs> yeah, we need, need to know what you're saying yes to. You say. Right. Right. The next Shall one. Look this week is the stabbing. Oh, don't like it in a. Yeah. All right. Right. The stabbing. It was the butler who found my father on the floor of the study, Mr. Holmes. Emma Porter was a pleasant seeming woman in her late twenties, her face heavily scored with grief. He actually stumbled over the body in the darkness. The fire had gone out, you see. His shrieks woke the maid and myself up. Mm. Did you have any? Did you have any reason to suspect your father was in danger? Holmes kept his voice politely neutral in tone. No, of course not. I mean, he had to lay a fellow off yesterday, and he had a rival or two. But who would stoop to brutal murder over chauffeuring? Her eyes welled with tears. Why did he sack the chap? Drinking, she said. At least that's what I understood. Holmes frowned slightly. Did he ever drive class himself? Almost never, but perhaps if he was short-staffed he might have. He generally kept himself distant from the drivers. I see, Holmes said. And he was found dead shortly after midnight. That's right, she said. The butler was on his way to bed, but noticed the father was on the floor as he passed the study. I had been asleep for some hours at that point. The man would have been in bed by eleven too. All the windows were closed, of course. The police said that he had been stabbed repeatedly. It just doesn't make sense. She folded in on herself gently. I'm confident we'll find the answers very soon, Holmes said. We already have our prime suspect. Who does Holmes suspect and why? Hmm. I read it a couple of times before I got. Yeah, I think that's one all set. I've got got an idea, but that's just a guess at the moment. Hmm. Right. Yeah. So as always, leave your bits in the bottom in the comment below. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Right. So last week's catch em. caption, even caption, caption. Got to catch them all. <laughs> yeah. And we got a new segment this week as well. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good one. Caption of the week. Yep. This was the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Go on then. We got loads on this. This I've was really popular. Here. This was. Um. Right, the first one. Yep. Off with her head. Yep. The Queen of Hearts isn't the friendliest. I am the worst. Sorry. I am the Wurzel Gummidge of cats. <laughs> Return to Oz, you lose your head. Uh, uh, Princess Nombi yeah, take, so took the head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, last time I agreed to doing a reenactment. All right. Put your head in here. <laughs> it's a basket case. <laughs> and that's your luck. Your luck, right. Are you ready for these? I am. I can look forward to this. Right. We've got Tammy Hawes. Uh, my caption for the photo. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. <laughs> and another caption for the photo from Tammy. I'm such a basket case. I like that. I know, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dreamless Fantasy. I told you this was the perfect hiding, the perfect hiding place for hide and seek. Sorry, it was the best I could come up with. <laughs> Uh, oh. Hazard pie, not decapitate, decapitated, just decapitated. <laughs> I like that. There <laughs> like yeah. we go, pink poodle. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. uh, I'd like you to meet Meow Berlin. Meow Berlin. <laughs> Don't forget Catherine Howard. <laughs> Off with your head. Ah. <laughs> The agency sent me to audition for the musical Six Wives of Henry VIII. Don't oh, lose no. your head. Oh no, the magic trip's gone wrong again. That was, my, that was my, one of my favourite ones. I like that as well, yeah. <laughs> Is this the audition from Les Rob? Surely it'd be cats. <laughs> boom, boom. Les Miserables, they cut their heads off. It's French Revolution. Yes, I know, but it's a cat. <laughs> so I was... I was bouncing off the idea she had. This is a new prototype. You can you can attach the cat's head. Oh, buddy, I've been looking for you everywhere. You make me whole again. <laughs> <laughs> this brings me new meaning to, do you have your head near your bum? I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Ah, no, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was. And no were all the good ones. That, that, <laughs> that. There, was, there were some really good ones in there. There were, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was very popular this week. It really was. <laughs> I I actually, um, I was thinking, I won't wonder how many people were, were like um, off with their heads. Mm. So I'm actually surprised it was only two of us. <laughs> right now, as promised. We've got a new section. Oh, no. First of all, no. we've got this week's caption. Oh, look, this week's caption, haven't we? So this Ooh. week's caption is this little dude. Now he is da, 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 da. he is a Tarza eating a grasshopper, and it, the photo was taken taken at the Coco National Park. Yeah. And I've got a few uh, for that. Bit that comes to mind on that is this: eat a bug, you will make you strong, you will. You will. Mm. You Yoda anything that looks He looks like Yoda, look at that. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. But that actually leads me to the point. Now my earrings are a clue because they're something the category would sit on or eat. And this is also another clue. Mm. It's beetles. Yeah. So we are talking anything to do with beetles this yeah. week. Now, admittedly, he was eating a grasshopper, but I have seen them eating other bits as well, so we went with yeah. it. Well, we've got, first off, we've got news and update. Right, so... Right, so first <laughs> right, of all, We've Coven. got Coven. Mm -hmm. Coven advertised today, on Wednesday, that they've got four different themed pass box, mash-up boxes from mm -hmm. a fiver. Now, uh, it's not worth us doing it because it's we, we items get, we we've already items, had. Yeah. But if any of you guys want sample mm. ones from yeah. there, I mean, that they've you've... got four different boxes. I've got yeah. Oh, they've got cauldrons, bats, and cats, mm -hmm. which are mash up with the past items from the 
Packed in a box and the cauldrons and cats boxes. That's twenty five pound with free quite delivery. Popular. At least eight items. Yeah. And Dark Victorian Heart, mm -hmm. which is a mash up of the past ones of the Dark Heart and the Victorian Gothic. Twenty five pound again. They include at least eight items. Ooh. We've got past jewellery lucky dip box, which is the largest one they've ever done. Twenty three pound with free delivery and contains a spectacular 15 items featured in recent boxes. Pretty I, good. I know. Yeah, yeah. I want it even though we haven't yeah, we've know, already yeah. had the items. Yeah. And they've got past prints, Lucky Dips, which is five pound. Five prints in the past boxes. So I've had print boxes. and they have had some juicier ones. And, and they're all free UK delivery. That's really good. Mm. That is a really good deal, guys. Mm. So and they say, small business, hmm. send us great stuff every month. Yeah. Well, we buy it, but they yeah, send so it they, to they us. Send it. Um, <laughs> believe it or not, that's the way things should work. But <laughs> it's amazing how many people don't do that. <laughs> but, yeah, no, Kelly and Tom, they're absolutely great. Hmm. So, and hmm. they always donate a pound of each box sold to the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Yeah, don't know we don't know if it's... Don't very much it'll work on these boxes. Not necessarily, no, especially the Clive one. Like <laughs> um, but <laughs> if you but try, they're, try they're it out, there, yeah. um, see what you think of the items, and then you can always subscribe later on if you've got the money to. But as mm. these are like one-off boxes, yeah. um, and you do feel As like you've are, missed out. It's here, an opportunity. Yeah, they are here at the moment. As mm. to whether or not they will still be here when you're reviewing this is anybody's guess. But yeah, yeah, this is it. Depends when you view it. Yeah. Right. So, really exciting. Mm. A new company um, called Grim and Black have come out and they sell subscription boxes. Mm. So we they are, are actually going to be Harry starting. Potter inspired Christmas. They boxes, are. I they? mean, we're we're going for Magical Curiosities box. Now the box is thirty four ninety nine plus five ninety nine postage. However, if you sign up to the um subscription bit, yeah. you get I believe it's ten percent off. Hmm. Um, now. It also says you can cancel at any time, so you might as well, yeah. and then you can always cancel it afterwards if you're not that impressed, but yeah. you still get the money off, so you know. Yeah. Um, well, we've got it this one, so it's also, it should be coming later on this month, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Um, they also do several other subscription boxes. Uh, one's the Practical Witch, which is uh, more like Witch Box and... Mm. Um, ingredients and bits like that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, it's it's, it's ingredients, sort of crystals, like that, yeah. things like that. Um, a lot of their items are handmade as well. Mm. Um, as Darren said, the Ma Magical Curiosities one is based on the Wizarding World. So, mm. yeah, I had to, really. Um, they also do an Enchanting Aroma one, which is sixteen ninety nine a month. Yeah. And that's a candle each month, one of their special homemade candles that i can't remember how big they are but i think they're roughly size of they're, they're fairly fairly good size anyway yeah. um they also do a scottish ghost no, um but those ones are also inspired by harry potter they are yes, yes the candles are uh they also do a scottish ghost one which is full no it's not it's 12 12.99 12 and you get a bit of a story behind it, um, and they are handmade. It's it's a collection to start, basically. Really lovely as well. Um, and they also do Spellbound Spectator, which is a magazine, which I think is twice a month, if I remember rightly. Was it? I believe. Don't hold me to that. But if you want, check out their website. Um, Darren and leave the information down below. Uh, we can't say much other than that because yeah, obviously we've we'll not had them before. Um, but they do answer several questions, and I believe they're to do with the lonely broomstick. Yeah, which is a um, shop up in uh, Edinburgh. 
Yeah, and this says it's the heart of Scotland. Um, it's created by the team behind the most magical shop in beautiful Scotland, the Lonely Broomstick. Yeah. There you go. And Have, if, if you watch Cherry Wallace, she's she's opened her shop in conjunction with the guy. Yeah, she's who, Cherry Wallace has opened got, um, or, or opening a shop called the Lost Cauldron, yeah. and um, the guy uh, Leslie, he, he's um gone in with her on that and yeah. it's been fantastic watching them get everything prepared hmm. um yeah as i say i'm just seeing what uh yeah they ask you and when i ordered they actually had on there is um is there any other notes i did think about putting about the gold place like golden gold plated but to be honest, um, I'm always slightly cautious anyway when I get items out. And, yeah. you know, a lot of the time there isn't an option of the same thing. So I'm just hoping basically there's not too much gold. Yeah. Um, or gold plating, I should say. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I think, I think the best thing is to, if you check them out down below, it's... It's seriously fun. The Lonely Broomstick's been around for a good old portion of time now. And yeah, it's a couple of years, I think. It's yeah. It's a couple of years. I think, I think they did a couple of years near the end of last year, I think it was. Mm. Could have been the middle. I don't time know. Time travelled so fast. <laughs> but either way, it's also worth checking that out on Insta. We're not getting anything for saying about this, by the way. It's yeah. just my own personal mm. taste of bits. Right, and as I said, it's not just one subscription we're starting. No. We have actually decided to try the Owlery. Yeah, it's a bi-monthly themed box. The April's one is going Magical Creatures. Just right for my and birthday. And Wizarding Trunk, the Owlery. Now, this is, actually Ameri this is actually from America. Yeah. And we did debate uh, whether or not but I'll be honest, I really miss getting my Harry Potter ones. And to be yeah. perfectly honest, although it is expensive, it's like, st the, stuff the stuff that you get in it good. is really, mm. really good. So, yeah, so we're going to be starting that one as well. But as we said, that one is bi-monthly. Yeah. Um, which... I really wish they took half and half yeah. each month. It would, it would work be out it'd work, work out easier. cheaper and easier to do. But you you know, it is what it is. So yeah. it we're we're giving it a go. Yeah. Um and I'm really super excited about the um category. Yeah. Although I would have loved the potions one last month. Yeah, it was very pretty. Oh very good. I was jealous. Right. All right. So that's the news and updates about those bits. Yeah. Now then, and we have got our cake of the week. Well, hey. And as I said, anything beetle related. And it did have beetles on it as well. It's got beetles, it's got bees, ladybugs, ladybugs. flowers. <laughs> So I couldn't find any bee clearings, so I put on leaves because <laughs> I've got a load of pictures of them on leaves. So I thought, well, yeah, that's as close to as I've got. That's yeah. what we're going with. But yeah, mm. super nice, really beautiful cake. So you're one one year old, prefer, presumably. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely one year olds because they're really good cakes. They do, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Right. So the cake fail this week is. Now, don't panic. The first time I saw that, I honestly, I thought somebody had done a naked bit of the female Hulk. No, the, it's got a cross to me. It doesn't. It's got boobies. It's got oh. boobies. It does. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you see where I'm coming from on well, this? Well, so it's probably mantis, actually. Well, but the either way, though, it is a bug. Or a bee, rather. Hmm. Or the insect. Insect. 
Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> right. So, Nature. Strange Bands. Strange bands. I'm just going to pull up a bit. I've actually got two. Um, right, the main one was <laughs> um, BBC which is British Broadcasting Corporation. Corporation. It's our normal channel, basically. Yeah. Um, they banned a couple of songs from Sergeant Pepper being played on Radio 1, A Day in the Life, because of the line, I'd love to turn you on. And Lucy in the, the Sky, Sky with, with diamonds. diamonds because of the alleged LSD hey. references. Now, these, are, <laughs> these, of course, the reason it fits in is because it was by a band known as the Beatles. The Beatles. Yeah. Told you. There's a nice wide range, honestly. <laughs> now, don't move, move the picture well, because I Probably didn't down, put but... one in for this. But um, also... Yeah. The VW Beetle car, mm -hmm. Volkswagen Beetle car, yeah. was widely popular until it was banned in America in 1977 for failing to meet safety regulations. Now, the biggest problem was because the boot was in the front, it meant that there was a lot of air mm. or, or there was like an emptiness between yeah. the driver and passenger yeah. as opposed to... Sure, yeah. pushing the engine back into you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that didn't stop you selling Ferraris, did it? <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> right, so the next item is what we've been watching this week, or what haven't been watching this week. Good grief. Right. Better, really. We'll start off with, we finished off Grim. We did finish Grim. As we said last week, we didn't have a lot left then. Anyway, so. No, I think we had one episode and a half, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't a lot. No. But yeah, it it was it was brilliant. Yeah. I loved Grim. I just wish they'd have carried it on with their children, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Right, next. Next one. We started to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Um, I've been meaning to go back onto that for a while. So yeah, we found out that we hadn't. We hadn't actually watched them all. We hadn't watched them all, we no. We found it because I've looked at it and it's like, it's one in 2020, is it? was it? So we stopped before then. And it seems like they, they did another series afterwards. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've been bouncing around a bit on what TV I've been watching this week. So, yeah. as well as that. We started watching the Mayfair oh Witches. Oh, my goodness. It is, which is so uh, good. Which is by Anne Rice. We saw the other, the other week we, we watched Interview with a Vampire. This 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 is a separate bit, although parts of it cross over. Yeah, they were aware of each other basically. Yeah. Although same, they the same... haven't shown any awareness for the stat in Mayfair Witches right no, now. It's, it's the same same universe. They meant yeah. they mentioned the Mayfair Witches at the first first episode of Interview, Interview with Vampire, just as a throwaway but bit. I've, I've got to say though, you've got the Talamasca in it. When the Talamasca are also in later on books of yeah you the ones so. yeah uh, so but i um i honestly think they've been pulling it out of the bag with these Anne rice ones because mm. they have been really good uh -huh. we haven't watched all of them and i've been doing different uh building block bits yeah. which means i've not been paying as much attention to the television so that leads me on to saying we were also watching true, true, true blood. blood now I love True Bloods. I adore yeah. Eric Northman. He is stunning. Yeah. Um, but you also it's, know I know it really, really well. So yeah. it's it's one of those ones that's really handy to put on with the bit going on in the background. Yeah. Also, yeah. The, the last, I am now. The most frequent one of Geordie Shaw. I have. Um, again, I've said before, I took child psychology, sociology. I find people quite fascinating. Um, and I suppose I've, I've got a comprehension of why people are like they are. Yeah. Um, but there are characters in it which I, I really like. And there are characters in it that I really detest. Mm. Um, but that's mainly because a couple of them tend to play mind games that I mm. don't like. 
but yeah no it's nice being up to date on that mm. yeah and that was all we watched but yeah it's not finished yet no no debbie doesn't know about this no actually strangely enough it goes in with the with the um theme all right it's wednesday today when we're filming this yeah it's wednesday night um and what dropped today were some pictures of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh! Because it's coming out. We're almost there. It's coming out on the 6th of November. 6th of September, sorry. Ooh. 2024. And there are only a couple of pictures. Yeah. You've got Michael Caton. I'll take your word for that. Beetlejuice. It's very dark, though. Yeah, you can't see. It's the no. angle you're looking at. Yeah. 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 Got that. And it's dark anyway. You've got the dates. Or well, you've got oh. the dates. You haven't. You've got, uh, I can't remember her name, the mum. Uh, yeah. I can't think of you her got, name. You've got Lydia Dates, yeah. third one in. You've got Lydia's daughter. The second one in, who's General Ortega, who played Wednesday. Oh, I love her. Um, the fir first left one is Lydia's mother. I yeah. can't remember her name. And I'm guessing the one on the far right would be Lydia's husband. Oh. Apparently it's her dad's funeral. Oh. I wonder yeah. if the... Um... The designer chappy that she was Otto. I don't know, is he still alive? I don't know. I he, don't he was know. a demolition man as well, wasn't he? I don't know if she know if he's still alive. No, because when we were talking about True Bloods, we're saying Lafayette in True Bloods actually died. He he played somebody in he played Tread, not Sh Tread, Shinwell, 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 Shinwell in, in Sherlock. Elementary. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um brilliant actor. He died, died but about, he was thirty nine. Uh, Thirty-nine, honestly. Yeah. Funny enough, in the books, they killed off Lafayette quite early on. Mm. And when they did that, I didn't want to read any more of it. <laughs> I got the ump. Because he's one of my favourite characters. Mm. Right, so. So, weird, wonderful, or damn right odd? Right, so the first item is... Weird beetle fact. He's a sweetie. <laughs> oh, no. He's actually a plant hopper beetle. So while he's up, I'm just going to tell you. Yeah. Um, beetles have a special manu manublate mouth parts which can be used to chew anything from plants to other insects and even dead mammals. In fact, the word beetle is thought to come from Batella, which is an old, which is old English. For little biter. Oh, right. Fossils of the first organis organisms to resemble beetles date back 270 million years. Yeah, they were, they were big. <laughs> like, How do you know? They were big, though. Like, no, 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 no. It was before the dinosaurs. Mm. Right, so next we have got a stair lift. I love these. <laughs> I love these. Heavy, heavy this, bus stair lift for the elderly. This was the one that this inspired. Like it <laughs> it, it's the one that inspired me to yeah. do Beatles because yeah. I had this picture for absolutely ages, and <laughs> yeah. I seemed to for a while kept seeing different mm. Beetle or VW or you know related yeah. items, so. So it'd, be, it'd be good if it did exist, but it, it doesn't. Know. It doesn't. You should, you'd never get your head in there. No, you probably wouldn't. <laughs> Depends how tall you are. I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't somebody that creates similar things. Yeah. Um, But I just thought it was quirky. It is, yeah. Now, the next is a washer and do dryer. That's wicked. <laughs> Again, I'm not 100% com convinced that there is one like that. But I just thought it was really cool. Hmm. And it it went with the stair lift. 
Um, well, the lights on the top front as well. I know. Right, our next one is slow cooker, and it was under a it's shot saying, <laughs> "Believe it or not, <laughs> yes, cooker. this exists." Oh, I definitely want one. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Yeah. They're so cool. Right. Oh, that's a full tube. <laughs> oh yeah. All, all things are like that. <laughs> like this is like it. That. I mean, but if you are absolutely hmm. nuts you can have about one in your, them, you can have one in your three W yeah. camper. Yeah, this is it. That's what I was going to say, actually. Right, so, bedtime, anyone? Oh, that is awesome. Now, I have seen similar ones. I've seen different car ones as well. In fact, when Geordie Shaw went over to somewhere to ski, um, the girls' room, they actually slept in different car bits and mm. things. And I I saw that, and I just thought, you know what? Yeah. It, it may not exist exactly as is, but I know there are similar yeah. out there, basically. Yeah. And I couldn't believe it because at this point I'm thinking, there's a lot of VW stuff on here. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, that led me to Beatles because if I think VW, my my first love and really my only love of that is, of course, Herbie. Yeah. Now, people say that the uh, the films haven't aged that haven't aged well i however have not seen them yeah. any other you no, know no. i've not seen them so but no. i i just think iconically got to love the bug that's right love bug was the first one yeah um my favorite one i'll tell you about in a minute but over i asked google how many herbies were there made roughly um, because obviously that's over, over all years. the films, okay? So from all the movies, approximately over 90 were used and approximately 50 survive, but many end up lost and unencountered in this. We, we, also, saw, the, we saw the half cut down the centre one. Yeah, we did. In, in, um, there's, there's one of them in, um, from Fully Loaded, I think you said, right? One, one with yeah. Lindsay Lohan in That's it. That's right. It was cutting off a, a metal bit down the centre. We saw that They in, did do in one where it split as well on a race that, bit. That's on the love bug. Mm. That was. Right. Now, also, this is this is a bit I found afterwards that I just wrote down a little note in my book. Um, but apparently Ooh. there were 12 potential models, car models, that they were going to try. One was a uh, uh, Toyota they, they looked at um, all different ones, um, but they were there were twelve, yeah. and basically the VW Beetle got chose because the crew could could walk past most of them. Mm. Um, well, they'd walk past all of them apart from the VW Beetle. They couldn't seem to help themselves from patting it, and mm. that's how it actually got chosen because. Yeah. Well, it looks like it. It's like a head. It looks it, like a face, it's doesn't it? It's like, you yeah, this bit, is it. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like they they just fell in love. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Plus it, plus, it looks different as well. Because bearing in mind, the first one was a racing bit. So, yeah. And it's a, a, one of the least cars you would expect for racing. <laughs> well, this is it. Yeah, I mean. But, no, apparently, yeah, they, they couldn't walk past the vehicle without patting it. And mm. I just think that is such a lovely... Hmm. story that it was it was chosen because it was so adorable basically right so yeah herbie rides again is my favorite so there's a yeah. picture of the firehouse that yeah. helen hayes bless her the actress yeah. helen hayes who i absolutely adore yeah. um is trying desperately to save yeah and i think that's with her nephew granddaughter and no. uh, could be granddaughter and he, he was just the he guy. was he, he was, was employed was to, to get her out yeah, but move, he, he? Yeah. he ended up on her side yeah yeah so i've got darren to put a few well, i put a few pictures sent them through to darren yeah. so you've got the fire station as we said yeah then i forgot about this the tram that she had in her garden um it's sort of used as a, a greenhouse and that yeah. had a little personality as well. Yeah. 
Um, and I thought I'd add in a picture of Helen Hayes and the her, yeah, yeah, the two trying to help her. Yeah. Um, when I think of her, I quite often think of her in Herbie doing her knitting. Yeah. And he's taking her along the suspension bridge. Yeah. I mean, I just, I loved the relationship they had. It was, it was beautiful. And the fact that it, a nod was taken to his past right racing career. Yeah. You know, I just, I don't know. I love the Herbie films for that. I love the, yeah. I think, I think he was adorable and you couldn't have had anything more cute than that, really. Yeah. Right. So coming away from films, yeah. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about these. So this is a golden tortoise beetle. beetle. There's lots of different kinds. Yeah. Um, tortoise beetles are some of the most fascinating beetles in the garden. They measure about five to seven millimetres, which is only like a quarter of an inch, and come in a variety of striking colours like metallic gold, rust orange, metallic green, metallic blue, and more, basically. Hmm. At first glance, the metallic ones look like sequins. Yeah. Uh, these members of the leaf beetle family are located throughout United States, Canada, Central and South America, and portions of the Caribbean islands. Some of the well-known varieties include the golden tortoise beetle, the mottled mm. tortoise beetle, and the striped tortoise beetle. Mm. Um, adult tortoise beetles use some uni unique features to protect themselves from predators. They cover themselves with a clear pronotum <coughs> elytra, which mm. are flanged flanged like plate like structures don't know they extend beyond the oval shaped bodies the hardened shell protects them much more like a tortoise's hence the name tortoise beetle this feature makes them difficult for predators to capture them they can also eva evade predators by suddenly dropping off the leaf on which they are sitting it's an effective disappearing act like cucumber beetles they can also fly to safety <laughs> so they're pretty hardy little dudes yeah. so as i said that's the golden one yeah. next we have an indian green mm. very pretty then we have an imperial these are all tortoise beetles i might add mm. and then we have got a neon one and Ooh. then if you want to know what their faces look like, yeah. next picture. Ooh. They all have that sort of face. In aren't they gorgeous? So not only are they beautiful and look like sequins, they've got the most gorgeous little faces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're absolutely adorable. Now that did lead me to ask, well, what's the most expensive beetle? One that always wants to get its nails done all the time. I mean, it has a lot of legs. Six, six legs. I mean, your nails done all the time. Right, it's actually a stag beetle. All right. If you, there we go. Um, stag beetles. Or immense. And extremely expensive, but they are rarely found throughout the globe and are a strange species. Some researchers have claimed the stag beetle is the largest beetle found on Earth and it can grow to eight and a half centimetres. Um, many useful medicines are also made from this insect. Mm. Some species of stag beetle look extremely beautiful, so many people prefer to keep them as a pet. Uh, there's also a myth associated with this beetle. The myth is associated with Thor, the god of thunder. The myth states that if you keep a stag beetle on your head, it would protect you from lightning strikes. Um, <laughs> now, do you want to hear some amazing news? A few years ago, a Japanese breeder sold his stag beetle for a whopping 89,000 US dollars. Christ. Which means Indian money approximately 65 lakhs. I don't know what that is. Um, this insect is considered such a 
considered such val valuable that's written wrong mm. uh it's considered valuable and people are ready to spend more much more and more money on it mm. um yes this beetle that has the midas touch can completely transform your life because yes. this is what they were saying on there that if you found one that was beautiful and rare enough you could get yourself a nice amount of money I wish I'd known that. I saw one. It wasn't like that though. It had one, one of the ones that had the, had the pincers like that coming out of the front. I know there's a rare one in England. It's like that. Yeah. It's the blue beetle, I think. I was working in pet, the petrol station and it looked like a bit of rubber on a Sunday morning. I went out there and this, look in, this, this beetle was like like that. Good grief. With the, with the pincer bits at the front. Yeah, I went back inside and shut the door. <laughs> We're not great with bugs, I'll be honest. I find I find most things fascinating. Especially a bug that size. <laughs> right, so that leads me to my bit, apart from I've got some jokes. Mm. So. Right. What kind of beetles are no fun at parties? Boring beetles. <laughs> What did one female firefly say to the other? You glow, girl. <laughs> Why did the carrion beetle cross the road? To get to the dead chicken. <laughs> uh, what did the beetle? What did the beetle do when it didn't have a date for the dance? Ah, uh, he went stag. Why did the entomologist choose the rice weevil over the acorn weevil? Because it was the lesser of two weevils. Now, I'll be honest, my favourite one was you go glow girl. Mm. But yeah, I still thought they were funny. And I was chucked yeah. in when I was font reading them. Ch chicken crossing the road. The is... carrion beetle, that's yeah. dark on that's... that. Yeah, I know. It's not the best, not the best chicken crossing the road, Jake. I oh, know, but I can't tell it on here. No, you can't. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Don't ask him what it is because he's not yeah. going to tell yeah. you. No, I meet you sometimes. Ask me. I'll tell you. That's <laughs> true, <meet> yeah. <laughs> right. So right. that's the end of my phone bits. Yeah. And now we drag it downhill. We do, usually. Right. So, what you got we're starting me? off with our facts. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1971, Nike hired a student to create a logo. She was paid thirty-five dollars for her design. Thirty-five dollars. Well, you thirty-five dollars was a fair bit of money. Yeah. In nineteen seventy-one. Yeah. But <laughs> so, if you look back on it, it's like I mean, it's quite dollars. basic, isn't it? But it it's is. Tick, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, like done in the scrub with tick. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got. What age is a spinster? Oh, is it 27? Uh, the term spinster referred to an unmarried woman older than what was perceived to be the prime age range during which a woman should marry. That's right. In Regency or Georgian England, that age was between 24 and 29. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if any of you watch Bridgerton, they would... They did actually yeah. mention about it. There is actually like something else after that. I can't remember what it is. Old Maid. No, that's yeah. later on, yeah. yeah. Oh, old Maid's. Old Maid's one about 40, I think. Yeah, I think <laughs> but so. it's like, it was really rough. <laughs> but yeah, right. The common swift is the bird species that holds the record for the longest uninterrupted flight. Yeah, really? Look at those wings. In 2016, researchers show they sometimes fly for 10 months without landing. No. I bet their wings are... Not... They can eat, drink, sleep and mate while airborne. Good God. How do they drink airborne? I suppose they hover mm. over a lake. Uh, uh, prostitution was the biggest source of employment for women in Helena, Montana, in the 1870s and 80s. 1870s and 80s. Uh, in 1886, there were 52 prostitutes working in the city. 
Good God. The Madden's become so wealthy, they bought up blocks of downtown property. And even started their own mortgage company. Blimey. <laughs> Sea urchins are called sea urchins because hedgehogs used to be called urchins until about the 15th century. Yes, I read that myself. I saw that on something sea myself. Sea urchins are ocean hedgehogs. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nuts. No, it is. It's absolutely bonkers. But no, I think I actually read something about yeah. that recently. Yeah. Right, we've got, got some of our English ones. Yeah, I can't read it. It's too dark. It's cough corner. Cough corner? Uh, uh, rough washing instructions. Wash by hand. Qualifications. Either wash by hand, no chlorine, no ring, in coleslaw. <laughs> yes, I always use coleslaw. Okay. No turning over, please. <laughs> and... Don't throw something dirty on the floor, which is like dropping rubbish. <laughs> it says, don't shit on the floor. Well, it's not. It's actually gone spitting on it. So it's, it's... Although, there was a man that walked through the, the precinct a bit. Yeah, I know, dropping and it as he walked he, along, yeah. Yeah, it was dropping out his trousers as he walked. Mm. Only because we were friendly yeah. with the security guards right. and you they showed us. Okay, shampoo. Okay. <laughs> It's not Ole. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, right. And these. Oh, no. We have got Trojan, pre-owned, reduced reuse recycle, just like new, relubricated. No. That better be joke. It was, actually. Yeah, I was going to say. It was, an, it was an April Fool joke. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. It was actually you an April Fool joke. You used to get joke, ones, yeah. I mean, back. Way back in the day. Do you remember the you advert used, used to, to get, get the cinema? You could wash them, apparently. Did you, did you remember the joke? Used to, the advert used to get the cinema. No. A uh, bloke with Geronimo. <laughs> he, he had his condom he called Geronimo. <laughs> he used to, he used to wash it out and talc it. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. My wife paid fifty to fifty pounds for this bed for our indoor rabbit, and this is what he sleeps in every night. What is that? A dustpan. That's right. He's a dust bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Typical. Totally the same if you get cat. Like yeah, if you right. get one for the cats. Yeah. Yeah. Book return. Library book return. It says, Dropbox yeah. is broken. Please visit Kathy inside to return books. It says, update. Dropbox is not broken. Kathy is just super lonely and wants to talk, wants to, talk to you about her nine ferrets. <laughs> I'd go in. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Suki, stop gnawing. Yeah. No. A caterpillar. Not that we operated by morons. <laughs> yep. That should be exams. Yeah. Yeah. How how important are are is punctuation? Haircuts and shaving your nuts not to come in. Haircuts and shaving. Your nuts not to come in. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's yeah. brilliant. And going on punctuation as well. When I mean, you've got, you've got in a magazine, eat Ray Love. What's not eat Ray, Ray Love? Ray, well, Ray, which is Ray. Ray, oh, right. Ray finds inspiration in, cook, in cooking her family and her dog. There's no commas. That's quite disturbing, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> right. The carnivorous cookbook. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And it actually looks like a bloke at the top as well. <laughs> it does actually, <laughs> yeah. 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 Warning, no swimming if you can't swim. <laughs> Doesn't say you can't drown though. 
Well, I love this. 20 persons is a lift. Mm. 20 persons or 1,500 kilos. Alternative, one Volkswagen Passat, one Hippo, six Grizzly Bears, 65 luggage bags, 454 Chihuahuas, 3,061 Seagulls, 12,712 Bananas, or 10,000 Snicker Bars. <laughs> they're taking that to a new level right, but yeah. i actually think more signs should be like that yeah. yeah yeah it's a short run dog run no dogs passed here <laughs> <laughs> oh gee. No, Josh. be gone satin you have no power here Neither you, cotton or polyester. <laughs> <laughs> I love bits like that. <laughs> oh. Uh, fart control. Well, yeah, that's always handy, I suppose. Apparently, Swe Sweden's fart means speed. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what does fart mean in Sweden? What does speed mean in Sweden? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I've just sped. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Hmm. Look, cafe. Come and see me next time. <laughs> there is such a thing as overly friendly. <laughs> right. Look, this one. This is on a right move. Oh yeah. Is this? You get the bits. It says, due to the owner's hobby, we're unable to take internal photographs, which has to ask the question. What the bloody hell was that be? Oh. <laughs> and you can see that the bike, it's got pictures of the outside, but it's got that picture of the inside. How it's many people that. do you reckon Put it, put it wanted to look. go and have a, yeah. a look? Because I would, if we were looking for somewhere. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's not likely to happen, but, you know, yeah. it. But yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Yeah, want right. to go and have a nose, yeah. or at the very least, say to the estate agent, "What's mm. going on here, then?" Share a little love. Valentine's oh. Day. They're enemas. <laughs> There's nothing like quite like telling your loved one they're full of. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh. 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 That's unfortunate. Yeah. There is actually a stand on the back, but... Yes, I realise that. <laughs> you can never tell what these Japanese things you really can't. <laughs> it's unfortunate it's yellow. That's yeah, right, yeah. Each their own. Yeah. Maybe that's what he's got in his house. Lots sure. of them. Yeah. Maybe making the head right tape was a bad idea. I'm such a child. <laughs> Although saying that, a child wouldn't get it. No. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that sounds no, <laughs> disgusting, I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah. Blow operator for five minutes before starting engines. <laughs> They've got some weird <laughs> jobs in these places, isn't they? Yeah. This is actually for a funeral home. Oh dear. Yeah. Come a little closer over the train tracks. It's, it's, it's come a little closer and it's got a funeral home, but then I'm on. That is disturbing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't mean the bread, rag, but I've got a purebred cat. <laughs> Please do not put anything in the toilets. Thanks, management. Anything. Um, <laughs> do they understand what the toilet is supposed to do? 
think so. They've underlined anything. <laughs> I know in some countries they don't. You can't put tissue flush. paper down. Well, some, yeah, they don't paper. put. Yeah, they don't put tissue paper down, as you said, or toilet roll. Yeah, man hires prostitute, and his daughter turns up. <gasps> oh, man hired a prostitute to come to his hotel room and answer the door to his own daughter. Titus the Cube, a married father of three, collapsed to the floor with shock while his daughter, 20, fled the hotel in tears. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, goodness. So you didn't pay up front. <laughs> That'd be a rather uh, interesting conversation with the go. pimp. Yeah. Crystals are banishing people. What do you throw them at? Yeah, any of them would do. You just have to throw them hard enough. <laughs> I've got that joke before you even Yeah, that's me. right, yeah. Here we go. I've blacked out bits on this, but yeah, it's a, doc it's a doctor's kit. With oh, right. Dentist, really. It's dentist, because I mean, it's got toothbrush You've got, got glasses, you've got toothbrush, tooth. toothpaste. You've got hmm. a... A, um... A mirror with a tooth in it. You've got a tooth there as well. Yeah. Yeah. What what do you have to go along with all those? I don't know. Well, of course, you, you have guns. <laughs> well, one's a drill, isn't it? No, they're guns. Oh. They've got bullet bits at the top and things to knock over. That's a very interesting no, definitely guns, set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. No. <laughs> What's well, the dental stuff in case you try and shoot yeah. and catch a bullet between your teeth and it goes horribly wrong or something? My husband has been so helpful with our baby, but watching him become a dad has been so funny. The other night he did the three hour feeding while I slept, but he woke me up to say, Okay, I changed him, he's fed, but he's still awake. So I'll just hang out with him. <laughs> that is such a new dad thing to ask yeah. as well, isn't it? Really is. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with Draco? Yeah. If he's funny, but would just hang out with him, just chill with him. <laughs> Pretty much that is, yeah. yeah. That is Draco to see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right. Traveller, due to past events, please do not pleasure yourself in rooms. Management. Questions have got to be asked. What, what previous events? <laughs> what happened? Oh. <laughs> I'd like to think. I really do. Oh. Right. Can't wait to surprise my wife. They've got roses out of stock. Substitution. Pepper Bell Red. Yes, that'd be so romantic. One each. I also want to know, how expensive are all bloody bell peppers in America? One, three dollars ninety nine for one bell pepper. I was going to say, some of, the, some of your things <laughs> over there, I must admit, are a lot higher in price than we pay over here. Um... Twelve dollars ninety nine for for twelve bloody roses as well. Mm. Well, this is a Valentine's Day, but yeah, here we go. You've got Rose, the Titanic. Oh yes, and when she was older. Titanic, Rose on the deathbed. Mm -hmm. Instead of thinking about her children and her husband. With who she'd been living for seventy years, mm. she remembers some homeless dude who she screwed on a boat. <laughs> Millions of women consider this a great love story. And don't forget, the boat went down four days into the voyage, so she'd only known him for four days maximum. Mm. <laughs> I think it's more because he rescued her from. A pretty miserable existence, to hmm. be fair. 
Well, yeah. the first day or so, he got to get, got to get naked for the drawer room. Yeah. What do you mean he got her? She offered. <laughs> she, she actually said, I paint me like, like one of your, your French, French girls. girls. Yeah. You should know this. Yeah. The amount of times you said it on yeah. a quite with her hamsters. Right. Mother finds out her son's bride is her little lost daughter on their wedding day after spotting birthmark on her hand. Oh, my gosh. But marriage goes ahead because the groom had been adopted. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> Good grief. Right. Right, this was from November the 18th, 20, 2011. Look. Pizza still counts as a vegetable in U.S. public school cafeterias. Does it? Because well, it's got tomato in it. Uh, the U.S. Agriculture Department originally wanted to require half a cup of tomato paste for a pizza slice to qualify as a vegetable. No. Uh, but on Thursday, the U.S. House of Representatives backed off from the stricter requirement. A slice of pizza will continue to qualify as a vegetable because it contains two tablespoons of tomato paste. Apart from which else, tomato is actually a fruit and not even a vegetable. Yes, it is. But That's a go. fair point. <laughs> if it has seeds. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, wouldn't a pepper be a fruit then? So that's got seeds. There are different bits for what a, what a fruit is. Yeah. yeah. But a tomato yeah. is actually yeah. a fruit. But yeah. yeah. But a slice of pizza, a slice of pizza qualifies as a vegetable because it's got two, two tablespoons of tomato paste on it. It's crazy, and isn't it? I thought I'll finish it off with this bit. When a, when a millennial asks why everyone in old photos had red eyes. Oh, yeah. I tell them they're too young to remember. The great demon uprising of the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, that is fan blooming <laughs> And that is my lot. Yay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> right. So have we got any new hellos? Oh, we've got comments and questions. Oh. Well, we haven't got any questions, to be fair. We've got comments. Oh. We've got Angie Reviews. That cheeseburger is outrageous. The one from last week. We had the... Uh, 30 slices of cheese, 20 slices of cheese. Oh, yeah, the one that was a, a cheese bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was odd. Yeah. Got another one, Angie. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys, too. Yeah. I am oh, quite man. Irish. Yeah. I've got England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales yeah. in me. I am but fully Tam British. Tammy Hawes, I absolutely love you, too. The advertisements <laughs> make me laugh so much that I take pictures of them and share them with my friends. <laughs> Share the channel. <laughs> oh, we had years and years ago. We had, we had someone we had saying, someone that, saying that, that they wouldn't. They were a guilty wouldn't. pleasure. Yeah. yeah, guilty pleasure. Why would guilty pleasure? <laughs> they keep us as a secret treat for themselves. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. thought it was quite funny actually. Yeah, we do. We keep we keep Fair keep our, we keep ourselves as a as a secret because I mean we don't we don't want to. Take all the subscribers away from everyone else. It's not fair, so it's better to share around. You're mad. You're absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Right. I just think the more people that appreciate the hamsters, the better. Oh, Tammy, I love Mish. Sorry if I spelled that wrong. I just love her feet. Their feet are gorgeous. Yeah. Um, currently, our little Russian note is Suki yeah. or Squidgelet. Hmm. Mishka was so, my second Russian yeah, girly yeah. and Eva was the first. But yeah. I can understand the yeah. confusion yeah. because on the, on the early Hammond the, bit there is a picture you, of her took. Yeah, but you got for Christmas, you might be referring to the picture of Mishka at Christmas that you mm. got me on the slate because mm. I yeah, yeah, there's just yeah. Eva had they, a heart got, on her nose. And but the they are I they. just yeah, there was something about Mish's feet, particularly because she used to curl her little toes a little bit. It was just yeah. absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Like, uh, Drusilla Dreadful. Uh, so glad Coochie's back. 
And Yay. also, I'm now home from my operation. Oh, well, that's good. You'll see me comment more often. Yay. 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 <laughs> Bless her. She's had a rough, rough as hell time of it, really. She has, yeah. Uh, pink Poodle. Yay. I love the fairy cake. It was beautiful. Yes. As you know, I love fairies. She does. She's got a fairy room, hasn't she? Yeah. 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 I would have been so so distraught if someone had someone had given that that fairy cake instead of what I ordered. Oh God, yeah. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah. But also, the fairy tales by the Brothers Grimm kind of let you know they're not going to be sweetness and light. The stories were grim mm. by name and grim by nature. It's true. They they were a lot of them were quite dark to say the mm. least. Um, yeah. but. I don't know. I, I don't know how people think on certain bits, if you know what I mean, because it's like I know that quite a few books are banned in different countries. Mm, different things, And, yeah. I mean, I know Donald Duck was banned at one point because he had no trousers on. Yeah. And yet... And yet no one's banned Star Wars. Oh. R2-D2, nothing but swear words. Everything that came out of his mouth had a bleep. That's your trick. Another one from Pink Poodle. Oh, yeah. Go right there. Um, Paul got another lot of antibiotics, the right ones this time, and he's a lot better. Yes. And, and back to norm, his normal self, moaning and groaning. I wouldn't have many other way. That's right. I say, if he, if he weren't moaning and miserable, He's be something wrong with him. My dad, my dad's the <laughs> same dad's way. Like, yes, he's right. not happy yes, if he's not moaning about, about yeah. something. <laughs> and if he hasn't got anything to moan about, he usually moans at the cat. Yeah. It's just always the way he's been, sort oh. of thing. And that is it. Oh. Well, thank you for commenting anyway, yeah. guys. It's always appreciated because we love hearing from you. We do. We do. Um, right now it's, what time is it? Yeah, 18 minutes past one. Yes, that's actually quite early for us to finish, Kutch. Um, but the minute we, the cameras go off, Suki comes out and she'll be a pain in the butt. But And I'm building a koala at the moment. So, yeah. But yeah, Molly May's out and running around. I'm sorry you guys haven't been seeing the hamsters lately. I mean, they've been in really peculiar moods lately, haven't they? Have, yeah. I've, this morning... Yeah. I mean, it's getting to a point now where most days Suki and um, Drake come out at the same time hmm. and I'll have one underneath my sleeve or on my hip this side hmm. sleeping on me and then I'll have another one sleeping under my shirt again but round the front near my belly hmm. and they're perfectly content as long as both of them can be on me. Hmm. The problem is both of them prefer this sleeve however draco does acknowledge if he's not allowed this sleeve because mishka's mishka because yes, so this, the, the, this, this is why it gets this confusing. is why it gets confusing yeah because yeah. you keep calling them the wrong um, name <laughs> because suki tends to go up this one he'll go up the other one so they are pretty good but they were quite quite mummified this morning weren't they they weren't yeah and so she was she was unsettled. I was actually rocking her. Yes. She had my sleeve over her. She looked like she was in a little sleeping bag with my arm up like this. And I was rocking her sort of thing. Yes. And she was watching me play um, on my phone, like Hogwarts Mystery, because I'm addicted yes. to it. Yes. And, um, yeah, she was just slowly, her head, you know, her eyes were going down, down, <laughs> down. But yeah, it's safe. But they're fine. They're mm. just, I don't know, but they're picking up on the fact that I'm sleep. I've had one day so far in the last two weeks where I haven't actually slept most of the day. Yeah. Because I'm just not, I'm not ill per se. I'm just not really that with it. Mm. But Suki didn't sleep on me yesterday. And I'm pretty sure it's because she makes me feel a bit lulled, if you know what I mean. Mm. So I mm. don't know. I think it's always a blessing when they want to sleep on you anyway. And she'll sleep on my hand, on my chest. Mm. And then she might disappear down my T-shirt or down my sleeve. 
it's just so lovely. It really is. I'm forever going, Darren, Darren, have a look at her. Have a look. She's so cute. But yeah, obsessed. <laughs> obsessed by my children, I am. But even Ethan Pan's been getting out more recently, hasn't he? He has, yeah. Not that you'd know that from the boxes, because mm. for some reason, moment, whenever we're doing boxes, they're all fast asleep, and mm. it's usually after they've been out and about or had a late night or what have you, so we haven't woken them up. Mm. I mean, with the little two, you can actually call their names and they will come out quite mm. happily and then go back to sleep on me mm. if they're not fighting at the bars before we can't come in. Mm. So... I don't know. Mm. 40 years of hamsters and mm. they still amaze me. Mm. Well, I apologise for that. The skin keeps going in and out. Oh, is it I'm still try- doing yeah, so that? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work out why it's... Because it seems like it's, it's trying to focus. Have you but tried really blocking focused. it? Yeah. And it's not working? Mm. I keep trying different bits. We'll get there in the end. Yeah, I mean, it is trial and error, but at least we've made it to Kutch so far. There may be a point, if I've got a sickly hamster or something like that, um, or I'm not as good in myself and things, then you may occasionally have to put up with us on the normal seating bit. Um, but honestly, it's it's been lovely coming over here and yes. Prepping the stuff and things like that. It's a lot yeah. of work, and I usually leave it till the last minute. Yeah. But at least I had an idea on the subject this week, it's even strange. though I sort of turned it's it on its head. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the other one was to do with fairies, and that included fairy cakes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm pretty broad in my spectrum. I hadn't forgotten about a dung beetle, but I thought I'm bound to do an Egyptian thing yeah. of some sort at some point. It's so, yeah. yeah, this is it. Yeah. I've got one of them as a pet in Hogwarts and Mystery because you collect all these creatures and I've called him <laughs> Beckham because I thought, well, Beckham had golden balls and this Beckham's got a dung ball. Mm. So, mm. yeah, I'm very strange. I don't think like normal people. I know I don't, but there mm. you go. Right, my lovelies. So I mm. hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much if you've watched till the end. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and ring the little bell because we've got mm, even more coming up, basically. As yeah. I said, there's going to be two new boxes. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're really, I'm really excited about it, to be honest. Plus, it's my birthday next month. So, mm. um, I don't know what's out on the 18th, but I think I've got, yes, I've got the party animal koala Build your, your birthday is on Thursday. That's going to be so you, on the you, Wednesday. So, so the Thursday one will be an unboxing. Yeah. As to what, it depends what we get. Right, lovely. So, as always, be different. A very mm-hmm. merry on hoo hoo. And cheers. Boop. Boop.